When you think of nuclear energy, what comes to mind? Does the movie China Syndrome come to mind? A movie that few have even heard of has played a significant role in thinking of nuclear power. Most you will think of nuclear bombs, world wars and post-apocalyptic worlds. Others might think of a Three Mile Island or Chernobyl and, more recently, the meltdown in Japan Fukushima. If nuclear power is so dangerous, why do we run our aircraft carriers and submarines on nuclear power? Why does France run 70% nuclear and many northern European countries have about 30%? Since nuclear power is already primarily used, there is no need to change the infrastructure. In fact, for example, my state gets more than a third of electricity from nuclear power. This also happens to be the same state that the Three Mile Island event occurred. Shortly before the Three Mile Island meltdown, a movie came out about a meltdown of a nuclear reactor. The movie was China Syndrome. This fueled an overreaction to the meltdown. The media made the event seem worse than it was. Just ask anyone that lived in the area at the time it was not nearly as bad as it was. But then, a few years later, there was the Chernobyl nuclear meltdown. Now this event was much worse than the government was letting on. The government of the Soviet Union tried its best to cover it up. Since then, people tend to think of Chernobyl or a three-mile island when it comes to nuclear power. But it's been decades since these events occurred we have learned for them. Nuclear power plants deaths related to nuclear power plants have been infrequent. The most recent event in Japan caused only one death. Nuclear power is the most energy-dense form of energy. One of the main problems with renewable energy is how to store it. We have yet to figure out how to make grid size batteries. By grid size, I am referring to batteries that can provide power for a small city. Nuclear power has a much higher return on energy rate than wind or solar. It means the amount of energy it takes in production and maintaining them over their lifetime. Nuclear power could fill in the gap. Nuclear energy could be used as a transition fuel source until grid-sized battery tech is available. 